Hello everyone, let's study the file organization and indexing. What is it and why do we need it? Let's understand with one example. So here being a user, I want to access some of my data from the database. We all understand that the database is actually stored on the secondary storage. Here we are taking disk as a secondary storage. So being the user, we give our query to the DBMS who on our behalf will try to locate the data and try to provide the data. So the data actually, uh, which we consider as a table, is actually a logical collection of records, right? So the data on the disk is actually stored in the form of collection of records, which is a file. Furthermore, the file records are actually stored in, onto the disk blocks. So I will not give you the entire geometry of the disk, but I would definitely say that disk, which is your secondary storage, uh, is actually a uh, grouping of lot of platters where the platters are having multiple surfaces. Each surface has its own number of tracks and each and every track will have number of sectors. And then these sectors are actually given as logical unit which is a block. So the blocks are nothing but then the contiguous sequence of bytes which is the basic unit from where the data is read from the disk or to which the data is written on the disk. So when the data stored on the disk is organized as the files of records and the file records are basically grouped into the disk blocks. So whenever we are accessing a record, ultimately what we are accessing, we are accessing a disk block. So what we are making use of, we are making use of the block access time. Okay. So the amount of time, here the question is the amount of time. So here goes the query, the location part comes that they are going to locate where the data is. The data comes back to the DBMS and the part of the DBMS is only going to load it into your main memory. And in the main memory, we are given the buffer part, the buffer pool. From the buffer pool, one particular buffer will be allocated to that particular application, to that particular model of the application or to that user query. And the data comes here, the data comes here. So this entire operation that we are doing in order to retrieve the data that the user is actually demanding for, how will you say that it is an efficient process? You will say it is an efficient process only when you will say that yes, whenever the user asked for the data, it was retrieved right away. The less time taken for retrieval is the efficiency correct we want to minimize the time required for doing this and minimization is totally based upon that how the data is available there as quickly you can locate the data that you want that much quickly you will be able to provide it to the user and it will be dependent upon that how the data is actually organized there now we are saying one thing that the data is actually nothing but then the files of records. Now, these records are actually getting stored on your disk. So the question comes here that, uh, okay, in order to access any record, I have to access the disk block. So my access time for the record is actually equivalent to the access time of disk block. And that is a very costly operation because uh, as I told I will not be considering the entire geometry of the disk and its performance here because that I'm actually going to discuss in the computer organization operating system part so I would simply define the block access time here for your understanding as you must have studied or you all must be knowing that the block access time it is nothing but then the seek time that means reaching to the particular track of the disk and then uh, rotational delay rotating the disk uh, rotational delay rotating the disk to reach to the desired sector to the particular track and then comes the data transfer time or the block transfer time time right these three factors are involved in making a block access time so omitting the performance criteria of the disk and how we can improve that or what they are actually. What we are interested here is how we can store the data, how we should store those records in the disk in such a manner that whenever we want to locate them, it becomes easier for us to access them.
okay or it involves less number of block exercises so the the complete theory here is that less number of block exercises that is the entire theory so we are ultimately trying to say that the record should be placed on the disk in such a manner that whenever they are needed we can locate them and we can access them very quickly and that makes up the entire theory about this unit and that's why we say that we need a file organization we need to organize files we need to organize the files or the records of the files in such a manner it is fastly accessible it is fastly locatable so now let me define the file organization in a proper definitive way it actually determines that how the file records are physically placed on the disk how you are going to store record by record okay there is a strategy behind it and hence how the records can be accessed you might be thinking how we will store the record there should be just one way of doing this no there are multiple ways of doing this and what are those ways so we can have the primary file organization and we can also have the secondary file organization secondary file organization is nothing but then the auxiliary data structures which actually help after a good primary organization it even tries to improve the number of access time you have to make okay so that's a secondary part the first important thing is a primary organization so there we can have three types of organization in general the heap or the unordered file organization the ordered file organization and the hash based file organization so i hope that you have got the idea that we are actually reaching into the study of internals of a dbms so this is not the database design that we are seeing which we have seen in the normalization if you go to the very first lecture of this playlist then you will find that the entire syllabus is grouped into various categories there is a one category database system design so yes exactly this is where we are reaching to the database system design we are not reaching to the data here we are reaching to the ways we can access the data and how we can make changes in our system how efficient we can make our system that we can access the data fastly so here what we are going to study in total classification of course this particular types of organization then the important terms we need to understand to proceed for the indexing concept and the terms are like blocking factor uh, there are types of records spanned unspanned sparse index uh, dense index etc etc then will come the indexing concept where we will have multiple types of indexing primary cluster secondary single level multi level and then we will study the b3 and the b plus trees so this makes up the entire syllabus of this particular unit and uh, this makes the base exactly where we are approaching exactly where we are touching into the dbms what part of dbms we are trying to understand okay i'll see you once again in the next video where i'm going to give you the detail about all the three organization in one video till then bye bye take care